Artificial intelligence, better known to us as AI, is a powerful tool. It can emulate human behavior to achieve objectives faster and more efficiently than any human could. It is currently shaping a large range of sectors in our society, and among many social impacts, it is actively being used to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals. Also known as SDGs, they are goals set up by the United Nations for the peace and prosperity of the people and the planet. A recent Nature article reviewed the role in, of AI in achieving the SDGs. They found out that AI can help the achievement of some goals, but also hinder others. So, how is this possible? Let's take a look about this by focusing on two of the SDG goals, SDG 13, Climate Action, and SDG 5, Gender Equality. First, S first uh, SDG 13, Climate Action. AI can be a great tool in reducing carbon emissions. It can collect massive amounts of data from its environment and find the link between cause and effect that humans can find. This way, they can provide suitable solutions to reduce carbon footprint. More and more companies are investing in ESG factors, and soon, AI will become a necessity. Also, AI can be used to stop desertification. A recent study showed that AI can be used to identify the types of vegetation cover. They used to be classified through satellite images, but it was inaccurate due to the low resolution. AI, can be new AI techniques such as neural networks and object or objective oriented techniques can be used to improve the classification since it can process large amounts of images in a relatively short amount of time. This way, they can estimate the certification trends. However, we must be careful because AI itself is a major CO2 emitter. AI technology and uh, resources require massive computational resources only available through large computing centers which have high energy needs. In 2019, researchers at the University of Massachusetts estimated that training a single AI model requires 300,000 kilos of CO2. This is the equivalent of 125 round-trip flights between New York and Beijing, so we can clearly see that it is a tremendous amount of carbon emissions. So, therefore, we must be aware that the costs might outweigh the benefits and uh, invest in major invest in sources, carbon neutral sources of electricity to power these data centers. Next up is SDG 5, Gender Equality, and here I want to talk about equality in general. Most people think that AI is unbiased. However, since, it is, since AI works on accumulated real-life data, it is traditionally based on the needs and values of humans. If AI technology were to be used in places where ethical scrutiny is lacking, it can bias election outcomes and enable hate towards minorities. This is also known as the term big nudging, exploiting psychological weaknesses to steer decisions in the wrong way. Also, even without malice, uh, AI algorithm, current AI algorithms are prone to discrimination. Let's take a look at word embeddings a uh, popular technique in natural language processing. Here, words are represented as vectors and the cosine similarity is the cosine between the two vectors. The higher the cosine similarity, the closer the words are. For example, the word king and queen would have a higher cosine similarity than to king and, uh, let's say, potato. So, by using word embeddings, AI, tech, AI models can realize analogies without having to be fed directly. King is the man as queen is the woman. But what if they did the same thing for terms that are supposed to be gender neutral, such as, let's say, occupations? Here is a word cloud made by word embeddings about the occupations of men and women. And we can clearly see that there, there is a, there's quite a bias in this, um, in this result. So we must be careful in applying AI techniques in every context where uh, gender isn't supposed to make the difference. And data scientists are working very hard to reduce the biases in this context. We are at a critical turning point for the future of AI. 
A global and science-driven debate is necessary to shape a future in which AI positively contributes to the achievement of all the SDGs. I believe that postponing or not having such a conversation can result in an unstable, unsustainable AI-fueled future. Thank you for listening.